Hello everyone, this is Mithril Zenith, and I wanted to take some time today to talk about a topic that I've mentioned in a few Unit Design 101 videos, but probably deserves some specific delving down, and that's the idea of planned obsolescence. Now, most Fire Emblem fans are aware of the concept through the lens of the Jagan archetype, a unit who's good at the start, but can tend to fall off and be significantly less useful later on. This concept can apply to many units or items in Fire Emblem, which is why some people refer to things such as the Bolt Sword in Gaiden or the Dragonstone in Fates as the Jagans of those games. Planned obsolescence is the terminology used by big tech companies to explain why, for instance, many iPhones have a massively shortened battery life after two years, or iPrinter ink cartridges have microchips that keep telling your printer that they're empty even after you refill them. I'm not salty about that at all, which is why I'm borrowing that terminology and applying it to Fire Emblem units as a way to highlight when a unit is good for a time, but doesn't really have a dedicated niche outside of that narrow window. In talking about archers, I highlighted the planned obsolescence of units like FE3's Gordon and Warren through a combination of what they contribute early on and who replaces them later. In their case, Gordon and Warren can deal massive effective damage in the early game to Wyvern Knights, but have several chapters of not much unique that they can do before George joins and does their mid-game job of killing flying wyverns in the desert as good, if not better, with minimal investment needed. This is not a mistake by the game developer. This is not a problem that needs to be solved, which is holding archers back. This is giving a dedicated niche for archers, and then providing a sniper who can fill that need for a mid-game niche in case the player decided to stop training their archers after their early game niche was resolved. This is actually, in my opinion, very good game design, as it means that when faced with a new, never-before-seen challenge, the player is likely to have at least one good answer to it, assuming they recruited and kept alive but didn't train all their units. But, planned obsolescence goes beyond archers and jagans. Specialized units are far more prone to being planned to be obsolete once their niche is resolved. Early game armor knights and archers tend to fall into this often, but so too can units like dedicated healers in games like Radiant Dawn Three Houses, where oftentimes players would rather just have another strong combat unit and just use the occasional turn of downtime to self-heal, or will bypass the need for healing altogether by clearing maps with vantage builds or rushing down chapter bosses with movement abilities. A significant number of early game units can also be considered obsolete after you start recruiting better units or if they suffer from poor growths. Don't like Clan, Alfred, and Louie? Don't worry, other units with better stats and base SP are coming along, so use your early units for what you need in the early game and don't feel bad about benching them later. As for an older example, units like Dalson and Marty and Thracia might not be the best units for the whole game, but they have good bulk and can help fight and capture enemies during the early game when you desperately need more resources. The game might give you tools like Crusader Scrolls to make them as good as you want, but the game is also perfectly fine with you just forgetting about them when better units come into your army. Bottom line, planned obsolescence for Fire Emblem isn't bad. In fact, it's actually one of the better ways that many units can serve you in the Fire Emblem army. Better to have a unit be good in a pinch when it's all hands on deck and then fade away gracefully than have them be mediocre throughout and have no chance to make any real impression. But those are just my thoughts. What are yours? Are you okay with game devs planning for you to swap out units? Do you have any stories of trying to make these units work only to replace them later, or pushing them to greatness despite everything stacked against them? Let me know in the comments or on Discord. Big shout out to channel members C2 Peakley, Enigmatic Mr. L, the Big Herman 007, NKO Rico, and Bro Tuderman for supporting the channel directly. You too can join them for less than a dollar a month and get access to perks like Q&A videos and early access to scripted content. But until next time, this is Mithril Zenith, signing out.